Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Bangkok. Uh, it's getting dark right now and you already can guess what that means, I, should, I think. So I'm going to shoot a new episode and today I'm going to use a camera that has been on the channel from almost the beginning. I think the second video, was it the second? Yeah, I think the second video I ever filmed on this channel uh, was I shot photos with this camera and it's this one. It's the OG Leica Q. So the first one that came out in 2015 which is quite a long time for a digital camera, but let's see if it can still deliver. And to spoil it already, yes, it can. So let's take out the Leica Q today here in Bangkok tonight. Um, and let's take some images. All right, guys, uh, Leica Q, Bangkok, let's go. I waited for the guy to turn around, but since he didn't, I fired the flash to grab his attention and it worked. In the beginning I set my camera to ISO 800, f5.6 and shutter speeds were 1 30th or 1 60th. That evening was a rather slow one and I thought about to call it a day, but in the end I was glad that I didn't. This has to be my favorite photo of that evening. The character, the composition, the colors, it all comes together very nicely. Alright guys, I'm now here uh, in the market. Usually in the daytime it's pretty busy here, but now at night, besides some of the motorbikes going through here, but besides that it's pretty dead. It's interesting because if you just step over maybe 50 meters this way, it's packed with people. So just if you come off the main strip, it gets super quiet. When I'm saying this, there's all these motorbikes driving by, so it's not that quiet anymore, but now. You, can, you could hear a needle drop right now, so quiet, and for Bangkok, that's <laughs> pretty unusual. All right, guys, um, I will now head to the, to the main strip and shoot there because uh, all the, the side streets I've been to now, they're getting pretty empty because everything is uh, all shut down already, so it's not much going on. So let's go to the main strip and let's shoot there. <laughs> Getting into a brighter area, so I adjusted my settings to f8 while maintaining the shutter speed at 1 30th. My ISO was at 800 during that entire shoot.
It almost looks like the clown and the police officer are going to kiss each other. You can't see it in the video, but these two guys had a film crew recording them. Okay guys, I now changed my settings a little bit because now it's fully dark. Um, at sh I'm shooting at uh, 1 16th power, f8, 1 15th and my ISO is still set to uh, 800. So that's pretty much the settings that I'm um, using right now and I will probably explore the side streets a little bit more but not sure yet uh, if there's not much going on i might just head back to the main strip mm -hmm. all right let's do this today's video is sponsored by my street dog vizines they include images from all over the world shot on film using my leica m6 and of course their one and only hasselblad x pen get one before they run out you'll find the link in the video description This gentleman is always sitting in the same spot it seems. I've seen him multiple times on different evenings. I saw the guy picking up the cash, that's why I took a step back to take a shot while he is handing it over. Alright guys, look at this cool side street here, it's uh, like a market slash people live here actually. Um, where you can see it in here, if you look into there you can see the TV, a very modern TV. and. This is so cool. That's why I like uh, Chinatown here in Bangkok because um, this is really beautiful here. So, but I wanted to. What I wanted to talk about is, if you want to learn from me, want to improve your street photography, consider coming to one of my bank workshops. Maybe one here in Bangkok, even. Uh, maybe by the time you watch this video, the one, the upcoming one, is already over. But there might be a future one. So, if you're interested in that, uh, I'll put the upcoming dates here and. Or check out my website and yeah, pretty cool. So let's keep on shooting. In case you're not aware, I almost always use an orange gel in front of the flash when I shoot at night. So I adjust the white balance accordingly and everything that isn't hit by the flash will get a cooler color temperature. I love that look when shooting at night.
I did the same thing that I did in the first shot. I fired the flash to grab his attention and it worked again. Alright guys, I think this now concludes today's episode shooting the Lucky Q with a flash here in Bangkok at night. And I have to say, every time I get out this camera, um, I'm surprised how good it can still keep up, even though it's now eight years old, which is nuts for a digital camera, it's pretty old, but still it's very capable. So if you're in the market and you cannot afford a Leica Q2, maybe look into a Q1 and if you can get one for a good price, this might be the camera for you. I think for street photography is as good as the Leica Q2. Uh, if you don't need the 47 megapixels, 24 is more than plenty. And the rest is very similar. So I highly endorse this camera. It's awesome. And I'm so glad that I picked it up eight, almost eight years ago when it came out uh, on first day, <laughs> even though I had no idea if I would like it. But yeah, it was the best camera purchase I've ever made. So, all right, guys. If you like this episode, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.